Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a tab separated file into Excel columns. So what do I mean by that? Let's say that we have this example where we have this, uh, this text file. It's separated by tabs and we want to turn it into something like this, into an Excel file where we can do some analysis or we can do some further uh, grouping or sorting or filtering. Now there's a pretty simple way to do this using the text to columns feature in Excel and I'll show you that as the first example. Let's say we have something like this where we have multiple files coming in on a periodic basis and we also want to turn it into a column separated file and we can do the text to columns feature where we bring it into Excel and do it separately but what if this is something that is done recurring not only maybe quarterly but maybe maybe a daily or weekly basis and what if these were large files and to do this with the native tool in Excel using the text to column feature it may be a little bit more time consuming a little bit more difficult because it's not going to be as efficient so I'll show a second example of how we can do this with something called Power Query now let's go into Excel and see how we do this now I mentioned the text to columns feature earlier in the video and actually this is a text to import it's very similar to the text to columns feature so basically what we're doing is we're opening up the text file and Excel is smart enough to know that it's not an Excel file, it's a text file and it's going to bring you through a wizard to import that data and delineate or separate out the different values in, the in there to, and then put it into a proper column. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Control O to open up that particular file. So I've browsed for that file and let me go ahead and double click to open it up and what you know just now is that it brings up a text import wizard window. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to step you through how to import that data and separate it out by columns. So first thing I'm going to do is check this off and indicate that my data has headers. And I'm going to go ahead and indicate that this is delimited. Now this is delimited by tabs so once I click next it'll kind of figure it out pretty much that uh, it's separated out uh, based on tabs and what I can do also is let me go ahead and in addition maybe select something else that is also maybe separated out by spaces so it doesn't go ahead and separate out these separate columns so and this preview will show that it's separated out into 10 columns and we don't want that because there's probably spaces also in addition to the tabs so I'm gonna go ahead and select this check mark and what it's done it's also figure out that there's spaces that are part of the delim delimiters and we can go ahead and click next and uh, basically just click finish and it's going to bring it out into the proper columns for it. I double click that to go ahead and auto fit it because some of the values didn't show up because of the hash marks are indicating that it didn't show up. So when I double click that it will um, uh, increase the size automatically. So this basically is what we've done. We've taken that text file now and we've separated it out into different columns. Now this may be something that is pretty easy to do if you've got one file and this is a one-off kind of deal. So if we had other files like this that were smaller and we didn't do this on a frequent basis we can also bring the other files in using that same wizard and just append it to the bottom of this. Now as I mentioned before if we had a situation where we did this a lot maybe it was a daily or weekly thing and these were large files you, so using the wizard probably would be something which would be a little time consuming so I want to show another example instead of using the text import wizard that is part of this when you bring open up a text file let me show you how to do it with something called Power Query so let me show you how Power Query works so what Power Query is is a add-on capability in Excel. It was first available in Excel 2010. You actually have to go download the add-in and then after that enable it. So you can just Google uh, Power Query add-in download and go ahead and uh, download that. And after you download it and enable it, uh, you, you'll get this Power Query tab. And what the Power Query tab enables you to do is some really cool extraction of files and transformation of those files into a proper format and also in a way automate it. So let's see how that's done. So in the second example I want to show you Power Query and how we can bring those files in. Uh, if this is something that you do on a recurring basis, maybe weekly or even maybe daily. And Power Query gives you a lot of efficiencies. And first you need to kind of plan it out a little bit. Uh, we're assuming that the file that you put is in a folder where you're going to put additional files maybe on a weekly or daily or some kind of recurring basis 
and that's where we're going to pull from. So what I'm going to do is I've already planted uh, that one file into a folder and what I'm going to do is using Power Query is I'm going to get that file eh, from that folder. right? So I'm going to click from folder here and I'm going to search for that folder. Let me go ahead and browse for it. So I'm going to go ahead and browse for that folder. That folder is under this demo folder here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and go ahead and click OK here. And now it's searching for that folder and bringing in that one file. Now it's going to bring in a lot of extra data that we really don't need. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to select this data. Basically the content column here indicates the data that is part of that text file. So all I need is this particular column right now from the query editor. So I'm going to select that file, right click or select that, that field, right click and remove the other columns. That's all I need right now. And after that's done, this is the only thing left and I'm going to click on this particular icon and what it's going to do is it's going to uh, take the data out from that text file and take out the appropriate column. So if I click on that, you, now you'll notice that it has brought in the data into the query editor. And all I need to do here now is just remove the other extra columns. Uh, I don't need this column. I'll press the control key. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. Uh, don't need that one. Don't need that one. And I can click remove columns or since these are all selected, I can also right click and select remove columns here. And basically this is pretty much done. This is how I want it to sh eventually end up uh, showing or displaying. And all I need to do is now click close and load. And it's going to go ahead and bring that into the Excel uh, worksheet as the columns that I need. Now, as I mentioned before, maybe this is something that you do on a recurring basis, weekly or daily, and maybe these are big files. And all you need to do is just go ahead and when you get a new file is put it into that folder and it will update automatically or auto magically. And this can be done pretty easily. So what we need to do is I'm going to show you an example of how I put that in. So let me go ahead into Windows Explorer and put that file into that folder, a new file into that folder. So here I am in the folder. Let me see that I have, let's say that I have these, the new file. I have two new files. Let me show you what happens when I put one new file in. I'm going to go ahead and press, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just move it into that folder, move it into the demo folder. So now let me go back into Excel and bring up the query editor. So here we're in Excel. Let me go back into the query editor. Let me go ahead and go to Power Query and then go to the editor. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refresh the preview. So you notice that if I scroll down here, it, it ends at uh, June. So I've actually put in uh, July, uh, August, and September data now. In that, that was that second file that I put in. And all I need to do now, since this is looking into the folder, all I need to do is click Refresh Data, Refresh Preview, and what it's going to do is it's going to go into that folder and now look for that other file. And if I scroll down, now you notice that uh, it brought in data with the other file. But it also brought in some of the other information. That file also had headers, uh, header fields that describe the, the, the second row of uh, data, the records. And what I need to do is I need to get rid of that. So because maybe uh, any subsequent files will have the same format. The first row is going to be the fields. And after that, any subsequent rows are the records. So I need to go ahead and remove that first. So let me go ahead and click on uh, category. Uh, there should only be one category field when you think about it. So if I uncheck that and click OK, it's going to remove that second instance of that category field along with that, ro that row that had other, other values in it. So this basically transformed my data. I've got kind of a cleaner set of data here. And I can go also click Close and Load, and it will update this table. So this table originally had from uh, March 2012 to July or June, 2013, but it's also now included uh, July, August, and September. Now let's say, for example, uh, the next quarter, I have additional file. Now, and I purposely made this a small file so it makes it easier to show in this demo. But let's say that I had additional file that I wanted to add on there. And it makes it really easy now because basically the file format is the same and all I want to do is just update this file. So what I'm going to do now is go back into Windows Explorer and just put that file in. So here I am in Windows Explorer. Let me go ahead and just put that file into the folder. It's got the same format. Basically, the first row is the headers, and any subsequent rows are the records. And all I need to do now is go back into Excel and bring up the editor. 
So here I'm back in Excel. Uh, I can click on the Power Query and launch the editor. But since I have this pane open here, uh, I can also uh, refresh it. I don't actually need to launch the editor and click on that refresh button. I can refresh it here because now, since because since I've done the transformation on the second example, uh, that second text file, and we're going to assume the third, fourth, and fifth have the same format. The headers are the same. All I need to do now is click this refresh button. And what it's going to do is bring in the contents of that file, do the transformation of removing the extra header that's in that third file. And now I've got a data that goes from um, September to December, right? So that third file had uh, this set of data from uh, 910 to 1214. And to show you that this text file actually had that, let me go ahead and bring up that text file. So here I am in the Windows Explorer. Let me go into my demo folder. This is the third file that I put in there. If I open it up, double click to open it up, you'll notice that it has the additional uh, records. So that particular first record was the fields. And you'll notice that it doesn't show up here in the Excel file, that it got, uh, it got deleted or it got transformed. Um, basically, it brought in just the record. I think I mentioned uh, September, but the, these actually go from uh, October 10, uh, November to December here. So these brought in those records to this particular file here. So that's the way that we can bring those records in. So uh, the, the plus about having Power Query doing as opposed to just exporting or importing the records in from Excel natively is if you have to do this on a recurring basis, if you have to do this on a daily basis, it makes it just so much more efficient because all you need to do is put a new file into that folder and go ahead and open that file and refresh it. And as long as the format is the same, this becomes a very efficient, very quick way to do and bring over data that is in a text format, a tab delimited format, and bring it over back into Excel and separate out the columns. So I showed you one example using the import feature that's native in Excel. And that's if you don't have large files, this is something that you don't do on a frequent basis. And with the Power Query feature, uh, this is really good if you've got uh, files that you do that you import on a frequent basis, daily, weekly, or you have large files uh, that you want to pull in. And doing with the import feature that's native to Excel might not be too efficient. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.